Who's up there? Look, Angus. Can you see? Hi. That's you. Let's see if mommy can remember how to do this. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am joined by the newest member to Iceland Family Life. Yes, this is Angus Odin. Angus, this is YouTube. These are all your friends watching you. They've been waiting patiently to meet you. And mummy's kept you all to herself. I really didn't mean to leave it this long, honestly. Um, but as you can see, he is an absolute joy. A little smiley happy baby who just wants to stand all the time ah I can foresee me getting a haircut very soon <laughs> so yeah as I was saying he just wants to stand all the time he is rolling over already he loves tummy time probably gonna be walking before he crawls <laughs> we shall see but he's a joy an absolute joy and it is so fun to see you and your sister playing together yeah so he was, he's four months old, he's not a newborn baby. He was born on the 14th of October 2021, so in the middle of a pandemic. He is our little joy that came out of it all. He was eight pounds and four ounces and 50 centimetres long. So. Ah! Yes, you were. And ah! definitely came out full force into the world. He's already a chatterbox. <laughs> and as you can see, he's got really cool hair. He was a bit ginger when he was born and I hoped that that would stay, but the new hair that's coming through, yes, the new hair that's coming through is blonde. So he's gonna be a Viking, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. And I can safely say that our family is complete now. We just feel like, just so blessed to have the two of them. And it's so fun to see them play together and interact together. Mia absolutely loves her brother. Yes, yeah, she does. And his face just lights up when she walks in the room. So it's an absolute joy to, to be able to bring them into this world. Bless you. And uh, see them grow up together and help them in, in their way in the world. And yeah, that's, it's a blessing and it's all you can ask for in life is to share this joy and love and happiness. Comment down below who you think he looks like because I think he's just a mini Ingemar. So his name is Angus Odin and Angus is obviously a Scottish name. Odin is an Icelandic name. So just like Mia, she has Icelandic and Scottish name as does he. I actually let Ingemar choose the name this time because I had chosen Mia's name. And he suggested Angus to me and I said yes straight away. It was the middle name of my late father and so it's really nice that we have that in there. Hello Angus Odin. Hello Angus Odin. And where does your name Angus come from? From your sleeping granddad, because he was called Robert Angus. What's his name? Robert Angus. So we've got an Angus in the family. Uh, oh yes, we've got an Angus in the family. Uh, Yes. Oh, yes. Ah. And he took an Edinburgh team of water polo players to the European Games and it was held in Denmark. And a town called Onsa. We call it Odense, but it's apparently called Onsa. Yes, it is. And do you know what? They were the first Scottish team ever to go. And they won the games. They won big champions. And they got the key to the city of Odense. And Odense was named after the god Odin. And funnily enough, you called Angus Odin. Isn't that funny? What a coincidence. What a coincidence. 
and Gran has got to go home and search through the attic until she can find the key to the city to give it to you. Okay, so Angus is back down for a nap now. I will see if he's going to let me talk to you for a little bit. I don't know where to start. This was such a positive experience compared to my first birth, which is probably quite a standard thing, isn't it? Your first, you have no idea really what to expect. But this was pretty much one of those healing stories that you kind of hope for. And I definitely did hope for that this time round. I went into this very well researched and read up on how to really go about things this time. And I had a very, very strong fast labour. It was six and a half hours long from water breaking to delivery of Angus. And that is half of the time that it took for Mia as well, which is, again, very typical. My midwife was absolutely excellent. She talked me through the entire process, got me kind of snapped out of concentrating on the pain and the contraction and just thinking about my breathing and thinking about slowing everything down. The one thing I wanted in this labour was the feeling of needing to push. Very, very quickly, once we had reached hospital, I had the, the urge to push which I didn't have with Mia and now that makes me think I definitely wasn't ready and that's probably why I had so much damage. I just knew that that was, that was it and my body was ready and he was ready and everything was kind of set but she kept saying I needed to slow down, don't push yet, be very controlled and she was amazing at talking me through how to breathe down baby. It was a really, really positive, good experience. I, I did it completely without any drugs. I had a bit of gas in there when we first arrived at hospital but she quickly took that away and put it down the back of the bed so I couldn't get to it uh, which was very clever. I did at one stage ask for an epidural which I knew I was far too far along in my labour anyway but just it was kind of like a mind thing. I knew that I would, <laughs> they would ask for it, it would take half an hour to come, I would have to be able to stay in one position for a certain amount of time, certain many contractions to have it anyway. So I knew it wasn't actually a possibility, but just that countdown of half an hour brought me closer to baby and gave me something other than having baby in my arms to focus on because I was having, what do they call them? Um, contraction storms yeah which is what i had with mia as well so we couldn't really measure them we couldn't measure them accurately so as soon as that started we just phoned the hospital to let them know what was going on and they said just come in when you're ready when you feel ready it's funny your second labor they just completely trust you and trust your instincts and just let you get on with it and it's up to you whereas your first <laughs> they don't trust anything that you say um because you don't really know and, and they are the experts which is fine of course all of this happened in the pandemic still um Ingmar was able to be in the hospital he was actually able to stay overnight which was really really lucky and yeah he was there throughout the whole labor labor we were in masks at the start they never actually did a covid test on us we weren't able to bring mia into the hospital so we had to kind of have her meet angus back at home I feel like I've really healed well from this birth as well. I do have one issue with my tailbone which is yet to be fixed because there's two specialists in the country that can re realign it <laughs> after birth. It was a quite strong powerful birth. Um, but yeah, that's yet to be done so I am kind of taking it easy on the getting back into exercise and just enjoying being on this big comfy sofa. We're just, we're having such a good time. We, we have already been over to Scotland for Christmas and New Year with to see the family after two years. Um, so he's already been on an airplane. We've had a family adventure together. We're starting to even think about things like weaning, starting him on some porridge, baby porridge, which is crazy that I'm, I'm just talking about him being born and we're already considering feeding him food. <laughs> he is, he's rolling around on the mat. He can roll over already. He was always such a strong baby from the start. He wanted to do be, to do tummy time. Um, he just wants to stand all the time. He's got a little chair that he likes to sit in and play with all his toys. And even Mia likes to play with his toys. 
and yeah it's just great fun it really is i'm still very sleep deprived as most mums are all in all he's an absolute joy he's just a smiley little boy with cute dimples and he's very very happy and content and as are we so yeah there we go family four mum of two isn't this crazy so much has happened in the last five or six years i've now lived in iceland for six years my life has changed so much in that time and yeah thank you if you have been on that journey since the start i feel all all happy and cozy in our snowy surrounded new home that i'm yet to show you but we're yet to finish i'm just i'm excited to get back into filming and sharing our lives with you so i will see you in another video soon thanks for watching bye